This topic is serious. This is one of those most serious topics that one can have if you're a radical behaviorist, behavior analyst, or even if you're not a radical behaviorist anymore and you're a functional contextualist. The whole point is, is that we cannot handle these damn things called <sighs> hypothetical constructs. And when you have a hypothetical construct, you tend to create explanatory fictions. Let me give you an example. Why, you know, how come I can do all these fun things and how come Brad can do all these fun things? Well, we're intelligent. That's an explanatory fiction. Right? It's because I'm funny. It's because, yeah, that's an explanatory <laughs> fiction. To, because I'm funny, description, circular, reification. Oh my gosh, my brain's going crazy. So an explanatory fiction is taking something hy hypothetical and using that hypothetical thing as a cause for something. Like behavior. Right? Intelligence is a hypothetical construct. Right? I know it sounds weird, but it's hypothetical. We have this number as this weird number that represents intelligence, but it's indirect assessment, all those other problems. So then to say that I'm intelligent and that's what caused me to say the way that this things that I am saying now is just an explanatory fiction. In other words, it's a bunch of bullshit. And as a behavior analyst, I never want to hear you use explanatory fictions, ever.